Hi there and welcome to this video. This is a quick video um, that I thought I'd put out in between the normal drum beater videos. Um, just because the other day I noticed that uh, Nikon have released a firmware update for their 24-70 f4 lens that I know a lot of you have got and use with your Z series cameras. So to get this you have to go to the Nikon um, website in your local area. If you go to service and support download center and then in the search just type in 24-70 um, you'll see all their 2470 lenses there. At the bottom is the ZF4. So select that. And in there you can download the manuals and you can go to firmware, go to the download page and download it. You'll obviously need um, your XQD card and a memory card reader because it's the same process as updating the firmware in your camera. So you download the file, um, you double click on the file. Now the file you download starts um, with f-ml24-70 as a file name. When you double click on it, it creates a folder um, where it extracts the um, firmware file, but it's called a different name. I think from memory it's Z24-70. So you'll have to find that. And in there you'll find a .bin file, which is the firmware file. You obviously, the same way as you update your camera firmware, you copy it onto the into the root directory of your XQD card, and then put the XQD card in your camera, turn the camera on, and go to setup menu and firmware version, which is the very last setting in the setup menu. So if you're at format memory card, go up and you'll come straight to it. Select that and you should see that you get the option to upgrade the LF firmware, the lens firmware, to version 1.01. .01. Obviously select that and the camera will update um, the lens, as long as obviously you've got the 2470 f4 attached to the camera. Um, as always, when you're updating the firmware, make sure you've got a fresh battery in there. It doesn't take too long. Um, it's a fairly quick process, um, so it doesn't really matter, but it's always better to get into good habits um, when you're doing these kind of things. So Nikon say that this firmware um, affects the aperture control, which has been made more reliable by setting the aperture to a medium diameter around f8 when the camera is turned off rather than close to the minimum diameter. Now what I read this as being is not necessarily about reliability, it's if you imagine you've got your, your lens set to f4, when you turn it off it remembers that when you turn it on. Now I think what the old firmware did was when you turned the camera off the lens went to the close to the minimum diameter, so something around f16. Um, and, and sat there until you turned the camera on and then it would open back up to f4 where you'd left it or f8 or whatever it was. I guess what they've done is they've tweaked it so that rather than going to the minimum, close to the minimum diameter, it sits around f8. So when you turn it on, irrespective whether you're, you had it set to f4 or f16, it's relatively quick to get to those. Um, so it, it speeds the turn on time. That's my assumption. I may be totally wider the mark. They don't give you very much information in the notes. So if you've got a different view of what it does or some other information, you know, drop it in the uh, comments below. It'd be great for us to understand a bit more what the benefits of this are. But it's a very simple process, worth doing. We're always worth keeping your firmware up to date on your camera. Um, so I hope you found this useful. As I say, it was just a quick video to uh, let you know that uh, this firmware was out there if you hadn't seen it um, to give you a nudge to update it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did hit subscribe, hit the notification bell and you'll be notified of future videos and I look forward to seeing you in a future video. Keep safe.